I'm, I'm almost, I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. I'm over it. Yeah. So we see your the current status of your hair right now. You went to the emergency room. What exactly did they give you? And is it helping at all? Well, when I went there, they took me straight to the back for one. She started using the little um, acetone packs. Yeah. And she started getting it from the back. But as she's getting it, it's burning. So they have the staline water trying to cool it as she was going. But it was burning to the point where my heart was beating to the face. Oh so we would stop. She would go again. We would stop. And she's telling me, Tessica, if we get this out of here, we're going to be here for at least 20 hours. So I asked her, what could, is it possible that I can go home and let my mom and my sisters do it? At yeah, least, you know, yeah. I can be home because I do have three children that have to come, three little girls mm-hmm. that I have to come home to. So, I, I mean, and now people are saying, oh, she should have oh, stood God, in the God. hospital for those 20 hours. Yeah, yeah. And I want to talk to you about that, about the opinions and how you're dealing with that, because I know it's a lot on you on top of what you're already struggling with. Um, But before we get to that, can you walk us through the moment this happened a month ago when you ran out of hairspray? Can you walk us through that moment? Well, I was going somewhere and my oldest son, he had my car. So when I went to go use um, my spray, it didn't have no more. So... I'm like, you know, that was the closest thing to it. And as soon as I get home, I could wash it right out. But when I got home, it didn't wash out. See, that was my major question. Were you in a rush to go somewhere? Yes. You know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a woman, too, and I like my hair right. But if I don't have a product, I'll just wait. But it seems as if you were in a rush. Yeah. Have you ever used Gorilla Glue before? Yeah, I used it before, and it worked pretty good. So oh, I you used it on your hair before? No, 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 no. Okay. Like, I've used it on, like, for Christmas. Yeah. I've used it. So at what point did you realize that it was a major problem? Was it when you got home and you tried to wash it out? Well, no, it was, like, I'm going to say the week later, and I had to call my mama, like, Ma, this is not coming out. This this is not coming out. So we started using all kind of oil we used, olive oil, coconut oil, uh, yeah. Tea tree, we was using pretty much any oil. So that's why on the video, it was so, so shiny. Yeah, yeah. But then everybody started, you know, the reason I went to the internet, because I never was going to take this to social media. The reason I took it to social media, because I I didn't know what else to do. And I know somebody out there could have told me something. Yeah. I didn't think for one second, when I got up the next morning, it was going to be everywhere. How are you dealing with that? Because, of course, there are opinions. You have people throwing shade, but you have also a lot of people showing support and love. Yeah. So emotionally, how are you dealing with all those opinions? I'm usually the person that I don't care, you know, what people say. You know, I just move at my own pace. You know, I don't, I don't care what people say. But it's just getting to the point where, you know, people are on TV saying stuff about me you don't even know me yeah. like if you knew me you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't say half the stuff you're saying if they knew me and you reached out for help yeah. it wasn't I mean, attention. it was for advice again it never was for this and then somebody said mm-hmm. oh well she spread it in our head um on purpose just to get to here who in their right mind would it just say oh, well, let me just spray this in my head and, you know, I'm going to become famous overnight. Never. Right. Listen. And the inside of my head is like, you know, little radiance. Just, who who would want that? Who would want that? I needed somebody to tell me how to take this off. That's all it was. Do you regret posting it? I, definitely. Wow. Definitely. Definitely. So- I, told my, I told my son today, I wish I could just, I mean... Wow. Go back. Yeah, because I'm I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. Is shaving your hair an option or shaving your head an option or is that Well when we tried to do the razor, we could have like when we did the um acetone, it was like you could have got under here. Uh-huh. But then we couldn't get um to the other spots. But yeah. last night I ended up cutting my ponytail off. I mean everybody knows the braid never was mine, but my ponytail yeah. itself. We cut it off last night, so in the middle, you can still feel my hair. It's just all around. 
And then we started with the um the I forgot the name of the stuff. We started with that. That's no um I didn't even say the name because I feel like they're gonna make that a big name. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. so we started with that. And as we doing it in the front, the baby bangs that I had, yeah, just started coming off. Like Oh. Yeah. Okay. If I mean I don't wanna do it on here, but if you I can pretty much wipe because I put some stuff on it just to make it look like it's black. Yeah, oh okay. Yeah. Wow, so so your hair is falling out there? Yes. Other than the fact that you should never use Gorilla Glue in your hair again, what is this teaching you? What do you think? I'm pretty much, yeah, just don't use it. Yeah, don't use it. Yeah, because I know for, and for me... Po- and don't post it. True, true. I know for me, I've I had to learn a lot of hard lessons when it comes to all the extremes I would go to for beauty. You know, like, because, girl, you see my edges, too. Like, I like my hair to be laid. Right. And as black women, we have our tricks, you know, our things we do here and there. Um, but do you think you're at a point now where you're thinking about the extreme length you went to to, to get this style perfect? Have you thought about that? Like, maybe mm. reconsidering that? I should have just put a hat on. So is your hair, is it loosening up at all or? Yes, it it okay. is, but it's, it's, like I told him, it's taking a minute only because the stuff that we're using, it's burning. Yeah. Like, it's burning. Are you feeling anything physically? Like, did the doctor say that this headache. can hurt you anyway as far as like? All I get is out? extreme headache. Wow. And he said, by the time I get it all out, or cut it all off, I may have scalp damage. And in some parts of my head, I might not even grow back. All right, well, let's talk about the love that's being sent your way. A lot of celebrities, Chance the Rapper being one of them, he's saying that he's glad people are supporting you. Has there been anyone else who reached out to you that we may know of offering any assistance? And if so, how are they trying to help? Portia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Portia wants to sit me here. Jess hilarious. I mean, me and her talk every day, like, you know, like we're friends. Wow. Yeah. Like we're really friends. Who else? It's, it's a lot of, it's a lot, a lot of people. I can tell you one person I saw, Beyonce's longtime hairstylist, Neil. He offered you a wig and girl, that's what Beyonce. <laughs> Look, he does Beyonce's hair. So are you going to take him up on that offer? That's a silver <laughs> lining in this whole situation. That's one, at least. Listen, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of people that want to give me hair. But the reason I wasn't accepting it, because I don't want people to be like, oh, that's why she did it. And I totally get that in the social media world that, you know, we have to deal with. At the same time, girl, you going through some 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 struggles and you have people offering assistance. So if you want it, I say this is just my advice. Don't allow that to stop you from getting your blessings because that's a blessing. And there are a number of blessings coming your way. Um, I want to talk about the Gorilla Glue statement that they released. They said that they sympathize with what you're going through. But they also made it clear that on the warning label, it says not to get the glue in your skin, on your skin, or in your eyes or clothing. What did you think of their response? I made a mistake. I mean, I... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So there there were some reports, or well, according to TMZ, you hired attorney and are weighing your legal options against Gorilla Glue. Is that true? I no, I, I know, I've never, ever said that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I don't know where all of this is coming from because at this point, everybody's saying it. Like, girl, yeah, my, my heart goes out to you right now. You also launched a GoFundMe account. A lot of people are helping. Um, you've already mm-hmm. raised over twelve thousand dollars for people who want to help. What exactly is the money going towards? Well, the wigs that everybody's telling me I'm need. That's why I only said, you know, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. But from us reading about everything that's pretty much probably about to go over my head and already done start happening. After the hair situation is fixed, you now have people that are interested in you. You know, you have what you've gained over five hundred and thirty 
thousand followers in just a week. You're verified on Instagram now. And I know all of that really means nothing compared to what you're going through, but you do somewhat have um, a platform now. Do you, have you been thinking about ways to use that or after all of the situation is handled? Um, no, like again, in my inbox, it's a lot of people. Please do promos, please do promos. Again, I don't wanna do none of that because I yeah. feel like they're gonna say, this is why she did this. Well, I'll tell you this, from listening to you right now, I clearly see where your heart is. And if anybody watches this and still think that you did this for clout or whatever, that's their issue. And it's obviously not the truth. It look like every time somebody puts something on social media, that's it, my inbox is flooded. Um, don't worry about what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, y'all can say that. Y'all 